Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show y'all how I came up with this eye look using the NYX Machinist Ignite Eyeshadow Palette. Let me show you the color scheme really quickly. Um, so I used some of the colors on this palette to come up with this eye look. I played around with this palette yesterday and I loved it so much that I wanted to do another look. So I went for something using a bunch of colors that I did not use the first time around. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed the look. But before we get into the demo, if you're new here, if you're not already subscribed, I really hope that you would subscribe before you leave today. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, for those of you who are already supporting my channel, thank y'all so much. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for coming back today. Let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so my eyes are primed and ready to go. So I'm going to start off with this shade here. Now in the pan, you may not be able to see it, but let me see if I can get it closer. This shade looks like it has like a, um, like a very subtle shimmer to it but it swatches matte. So I think it's similar to another color that I used in here yesterday where it's pretty much gonna be like a matte shade on my lid. So I'm gonna take this and use it as a transition. And I'm gonna start by applying that right in the middle of my two concealers. I feel like I could go in like with a heavier hand with these shadows, but I'm just a bit apprehensive to do that just to make sure that I don't um, make a mistake and apply too much. So I am kind of like layering it up. But if you're a bit more experienced in the area of eyeshadow, I do feel like you could probably just, um, apply more initially and blend it out. So I am kind of like dragging this color out like to where my um, brow stop. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this color here. This like a, um, like a shimmery, like I don't know, corally peach type color, but I'm going to use that and I'm going to apply that to um, the inner part of my lid. The last time I used this shadow, I applied all of the shades dry and I was very impressed with how pigmented they are. And I do think this one is quite pigmented, but just to see, because it's not as pigmented as the other shades that I used last time, I'm going to wet my brush this time and see what we're working with. Yeah, so that's definitely a lot more foiled when you wet it. So I'm putting this on maybe like two thirds of my um lid all right now i'm picking up this color down at the bottom this is like a um i'm trying to get the light out of the way this is like a matte maybe like a magenta type color i'm gonna use that on the outer part of my lid i'm using the same brush but i'm just turning it over and i'm just going to pat that on the outer part and I'm trying my best not to use any of the colors that I used the last time I tested this palette. I'm going back into that same color on a different brush. This is just a small blending brush and I'm going to drag this color into my crease just to darken it a little bit. And give that area of my eye just a little bit of dimension.
I'm going back in with the first color that we used on my blending brush and I'm gonna like just diffuse the top of the entire look just to kind of like soften it back out. I feel like the shimmery um, shade on my lid is not um, visible enough. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and I'm gonna drag it up some. I think that looks a little bit better. It's not like really high up, but I, I do think that looks just a little better. And it's kind of doing like a gradient, which I actually like. Okay, I put some eyeliner on my lower lash line and I'm gonna go into this magenta shade. I'm gonna use that um, over most of my lower lash line. I may have to tap into a shade that I used last time, but we'll see. So I'm just tapping that right on top of my eyeliner. That's a little bit more than two thirds of the way in, but I'm gonna leave it like that. I think that this look is looking like very red on my eyes, but I think when I apply my, my eyeliner and my mascara, that'll tone it down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna see, looking at these colors in the pan, I'm not quite sure how bright and vibrant this is, but I'm gonna try this gold color over here. I'm gonna try that on the rest of my lower lash line, and I'm also gonna try it as my inner corner highlight. Yeah, I do think it's darker than the um, shade that I have on my lid. So I may have to go in and um, layer these shades on my inner corner, but we'll see. Yeah, you see how, like to me, you can barely see the color but that's because the color that I have on my lid is just lighter. So I'm gonna go in with that color on top of that gold. I'm just now realizing like toward the end of the video <laughs> that I don't have y'all all the way zoomed in, sorry. All right, it's not too much of a difference, but I have y'all zoomed all the way in now. So this is what we're looking like so far. I'm gonna put my liner and mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, this is my completed eye with my mascara and my eyeliner. So again, this is my second time playing around with this palette and I do really like how the colors perform. Um, I was a little concerned thinking that maybe the final look was gonna be just too red and too like peachy, but I like the way that it came out. I do think that the mascara just toned everything down and I decided to go in with a very dark lip to try and offset the brightness on the eyes. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Also leave me some feedback down below and I would highly recommend this palette, the Ignite palette. I've been seeing some mixed reviews on this. Um, some people don't like it. I love it. Um, now I will say, I said this in my other video that the regular price for this, I'm gonna zoom y'all out just a little bit. <laughs> the regular price for this palette is $25. I got it on sale for 50% off, but um, I initially thought that $25 was a bit steep for this because it's NYX and I, now I'm actually kind of torn because I just really love 
this palette. I think um, the quality of it is really, really good. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, $25 is steep for NYX, but at the same time, it is a really good quality palette. But anyway, um, I think it's worth I think it's worth giving it a shot, even if you do have to pay the $25 for it. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video, and I really hope that I will see y'all back for the next one. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.